Hey Mike, how come you don't use the theme song anymore? <laughs> There's a story behind it. God. Um, I, I zipped it by accident. Yeah. Um, from the podcast for, for the first twenty-five podcasts, I zipped it. Yeah. Yeah, that file was in there. The file isn't. No, the file, the theme song file is in there. Yes. Um, and I'm too lazy to unzip it and then rezip it again. You can just download it again, Mike. It's a rosy free song. I know. I have a, I have a copy myself. I know, but yeah, but that, but that just shows how lazy. I am. <laughs> or depressed. Oh, either or, either yeah. or. Mm-hmm. But in saying that, welcome to the podcast. Yes, with your. Are we conflicted this week? No, uh, uh, just tired and sleepy. Are we? Fr- are we frustrated? Yeah. Fr- with our frustrated hosts. Mike and Sophie. Um, as it turns out, I bought a lightning cable for my iPhone, and it was a faulty one, which is frustrating because I need to charge my phone. Not only that. Yes. But you, yeah, l- l- like I said before the podcast, you discredited every USB port I had yeah. by plugging it into every one. Yes. <laughs> uh, I I just get a kick out of that. Purely because, like, like, not to say that the cable was broken. Let's make sure that um, every port of Michael's is not broken either. As well as Sophie's. Yeah. My battery pack doesn't work with it. No surprise. Yeah. I just, oh man. So oh well, the cable was another twenty dollars. Twenty dollars wasted. But um, I hope the store will give me credits. Even though I forgot to ask. I no, I rejected the receipt. I should have asked for the receipt. Ah, uh, Sophie, it's okay. Never mind. Bad day. Bad day. Things happen. Yes. And, uh, but in saying that, um, we, we have some uh, news and some uh, mistakes I made. Yes, go ahead, Mike. Um, the, the Justin Timberlake movie that we were talking about in the, lot, in, in the, in the previous podcast. Yes. It's, ta- it's called In Time, not About Time. <laughs> it's about time, though. Yeah. And in, in, in saying that, we talk about our Christmas gifts. Yes. And I just recently got yours. Which is? The No Such Thing as a Fish podcast tickets. Yay! Got me tickets. Yes. Even though it's in May 2018. Yeah. And like we still got a wee while yet, we've already bought tickets. Um, and the tickets were already selling out because we got the seats right at the back. Yeah. So it goes to show how popular they are, even here d- down in New Zealand. Yeah. Can I please have an after the dinner mint? No, no. That's not mint. No, it's not mint. But um, th- that's another thing that we need to discuss too. Due to your... Um, I need something chocolatey to calm me down. Well, well, because of what you said in the podcast... Yes. ...last week... Yes. The after dinner mint box... Yes. ...is all full of something else that is not after dinner mint. Which is... Open it up. Ah, yes. Walker's Chocolates of London. Medication. Yeah. I put them nice in a nice little convenient little box. That's very helpful of you. Oh, well. Do you have something chocolatey? No. Ah. No chocolate, Sophie. That's unfortunate. Don't worry. I was going to shut you lunch, but um, you have other plans. I do. Mm. Sorry, Mike. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so any other news? Well, what should we start off with, Sophie? Okay, so um, I know this is this was not in the plan, but have you heard of someone called Wolf, an author called Wolf? Yes, yes, yes. I I, I know where you're going with this. Yes. I know where you're going with this. But carry on, elaborate. Well, he was one of Trump's aides until quite recently. And then after he was fired, apprentice style, he decided to write a book about it. Yes. Not about his firing, but his time in the White House with um, a certain annoying orange. <laughs> yes. And the book, if anything... Um, is 
Actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even call the book revelationary, actually. Yeah, um, It's just stating things that are already quite obvious from Donald, Trump, Donald, Donald Trump's Twitter account. Yeah, it, it, it seems that um, the guy wolf um, was an aide to Steve Bannon. Yes. And um, when uh, Steve was fired, yes. so was his aides, including him. And as a comeback... He wrote a expose about his time in the White House. And um, it's not flattering to Trump, to say the least. No, not flattering at all. It's it, it's pretty compounding. Deadly. Deadly. So, what are we to say about it? Mm. I was basically waiting for the Amarosa book to come out that will pretty much do exactly the same thing. But Wolf beat him through the punch. What's, what is it with the Amarosa book? Well, Amarosa was another aide. Um, and she was the one from The Apprentice. Yes. Um, and because of what happened with the... Uh, some um, civil liberties matter, she was let go as well. Ooh. And... Um, what civil liberties matter? It, it's something to do with um, African-American politics. Oh, I so forgot what it was. So she's African-American? Yes, she is. And she managed to piss off Trump off by saying he's racist? No. No? Oh, well. Um, Maybe he fired her just because she's more competent than him and he can't stand a woman of colour being more competent than him. Um, uh, the both is incompetent as each other. Um, for her wedding, mm -hmm. they actually went to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Yes. Her and her 48 bridesmaids. Yes. And basically went all through the uh, East Wing. Oh. So they rubbished it. Not necessarily rubbish, but poked fun at it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, look, white people, white people, white people. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah it, I can't it, wait for Trump to get impeached as well as Mike Pence. Oh, well, yeah, that, that it's going to be a very interesting 2018. Mm. I have to admit, 2018 was better than 2017. Well, it, is, it has been for me already, if you compare the, the first few days to, comp to compare to the first few days of last year. It has already improved. Yep. Like, take for instance, I have one extra eye already. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you got, your eye level has gone from zero to one. Real quick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah yes, and... Um, you I, have improved your eye... You have... Um, increased your eye levels by infinity. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, it's not quite infinity, but yeah, close enough. Close enough. L like, um, the best way I can describe it, that I went from 84% blindness to about just under 50% now. You can see things. <laughs> You're 50% sighted. Yeah, so, um... I'm actually going to make the um, prescription appointment today. Oh, for your glasses? Yes. Yes! With um, them. Oh, it's probably going to be tomorrow. Um, yeah, because I'm just like you. Yes. With my eyes, I'm, I'm fed up with my eyes. So I'm going with it now. So which glasses are you going to get? Um, well, I'm going to go through the um, eye exam through... Speak savers. Yes. Because, da 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 da. Because you know how novel I am, right? Yeah. You know how novel I am? Yeah. How? Um, it's 42% off for this month. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And which glasses are you going to get? Well, well I don't know yet. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. I thought I make... we picked one for you already. Yeah. We, yeah. Yeah, we already have, and I probably will go back there and grab those ones. Oh, yeah. You remember what they are? Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> I'll send you a picture if you don't. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the um, optometrist says in regards to my eyes. Mm. Um, if I am one allowed to drive. Yes. Um, with prescriptions on. Yeah. And if that's a no, then I will just get single standard for computer lenses. Oh yeah. Which will be a reduced price anyway. So, what's the difference between a computer lens and a normal lens? 
<laughs> now, okay. There, there are three certain levels that most humans use in regards to vision. Yes. Right? Reading, computer, and distance. Ah, oh, yes. Right? Progressive, probably what glasses that you have. No, I don't have progressive. I only have normal lenses. Okay. Okay, normal vision means you get to pick one of the three. Yes. Which means that either you have distance. Yeah. For computer. Mm -hmm. Or for reading. Well, that's the thing. I have myopia, right? Which means short sightedness. Which means I don't need glasses for computer or reading. So, these glasses are merely are merely for distance. Yeah. And somehow my eyes can adjust to both reading and a computer with these glasses on. They just do. Yeah. And um, progressive lenses is a mixture of all three in the lens. That's very helpful. Like the f the top half is distance. Yeah. Um, the middle quarter is for computer, and then the bottom quarter is for reading. That's very <laughs> yeah. advanced technology. Yes. So you get progressives. When are you going to get your Oakleys? Well, that's the, well, that's going to be further down the track. Um, you need to lose weight first. I'm sorry, Mike. You look terrible in Oakleys. I know, I know, and I'm getting there. Yes. I'm getting there. Everything is getting a little bit loose fitting now. Yeah. So, so please, please, so, so please, um, put your money where your mouth is, or yeah. put your mouth where your money is. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> no, no, no. no I, I, I always like to say that to to people that talk but have no substance. Oh yes. I usually genuinely say that. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Yes. Yeah. I'm just warning you that Oakley's look terrible with with a really, really round face like yours. I know. It but, needs to be chiselled. But you know, I, 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 I always go, and you've probably noticed this about me, mm -hmm. that I prefer function over style. Yes. It doesn't matter how ugly it is. Mm -hmm. As long as it's functional, I'm a happy chappy. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Oh, you know how you can get your Oakleys, like, itched, right? Maybe you should have, like, MJ Cool Canara. <laughs> <laughs> or have MK and have the Mortal Kombat symbol. Yes. <laughs> yes, and I, I remember when I was flatting that, um, on my window, it actually, it said Michael Canara that I actually, like, um, using, uh, I didn't Photoshop, this is pre-Photoshop. Yeah. Like using um, MS Paint, yeah, and change all the letters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should do that. Just like you know, make the um, Mortal Kombat using right, Michael, Michael Canara and the Mortal Kombat logo. Yeah, yeah, that could work. MK. Yeah. But um, speaking of 2018 so far. Yeah. So you have hopefully Trump will get impeached as well as his um, underlings, lap dogs. <laughs> lap dogs. His lap dogs. The, I think the best quote was John uh, Don Jr. will crack like an egg. Yeah. From that, that, that was one of the quotes from the book. Ooh. Yeah. Um, speaking of um, white boys being idiots. <laughs> oh, good segue. Good segue. Yeah. Logan Paul and the Suicide Forest. Now, now I, I actually told Sophie about this. Yeah. Um, I didn't actually watch the actual video. Mm. Because by the time Twitter went a bit um, crazy over it... Blew up. That's the blew term. Up, blew up. Um, he had already taken down the video. Yep. Um, that was after about six hours. It had over six million views. Mm. And a tenth of them were likes. Um, so I watched um, commentary on it from numerous sources. Yes. And I, w I was, like I told my co-host here, I was actually pretty upset. I was pretty flabbergasted myself because they were making jokes over a dead body. Yeah. And, like, oh, uh, it's... The whole fact that you're going into a forest that is notorious... For hangings, uh, well, the, the, this is the for suicide in general. I mean, just the fact that it's actually notorious for suicides in general 
you shouldn't have just filmed in there because there's, there's bound to be dead bodies and you just respect, you know? Yeah. Um, the premise was that, um, the, you know, there was a bit of uh, hauntality o- over it and they decided to do a mock haunting over it. And then um, they went into the restricted area. Yes. Which is um, anything else other than the trail. Yes. And they came across uh, a person who just hung himself. Of course they would. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this um, suicide forest is on the base of Mount Fuji, and um, there was this fantastic article written by the National Geographic about it. Yes, that's right. Yeah, so I sent Mike the link. Yes, yes. And that's how I found out about it long before this incident happened. Yeah. Yeah, well, this is the first time me knowing about it. Yeah, I've I've known about it for several years now due to the National Geographic article, but um, it goes to show that... Well, you've you've read the article, right? Yeah. Now... You've basically had a contrast between what should have been done and what shouldn't. What, yes. what should have been done and what shouldn't never be done. Yeah. What well, no, what should never be done, I mean. Yeah. And it's pretty damn heartbreaking. Let me just mute my phone. It's pretty damn heartbreaking the fact that people would just ugh, make jokes over a dead body. I, 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 I think in his defence, his laughter was probably the the only way that um, he he could have coped with it. But in saying that, why would you uh, film uh, in there in the first place? I don't care about the jokes or the laughter. I just care the fact that they made they basically were monetizing people's misery. But a counter to the counterpoint yeah. that I was going to make. Yes. That this is edited. Yes. And being put on YouTube. Yeah. They could have edited out the laughter. They could have edited out the dead body. Yeah. They could have just, you know, filmed filmed the bits on the um, trail without the bodies. And it's like, ooh, creepy. Yeah. But no, they had to put in the dead body for, what, a shock factor? Yeah. And the whole fact that he put it in the thumbnail. Yeah. Of, you know, the blurred vision of the dead body in the thumbnail. And he claims it not to be clickbait. Come on. I mean, it's worse than boobs. Exactly. It's, uh, it's, uh, and, and all of the, you know, the the, the the videos that have been ripping into Logan Paul about this, um, especially on Twitter, like Aaron Paul, does, um, uh, a YouTube friend of mine posted a video about it, and it was mentioned in the Huffington Post. Yes. And, um, she was ridiculed for it, you know, death threats and all that sort of jazz as well, which means that Logan Paul's fans don't really care. They should. They should, but they don't. Mm. Which is which is not as sad, but it's still sad. No, it's just disquieting. Yeah. The how people can be so heartless, you know? Yeah. Kanye West sang a song about that. So soon? Heartless. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously though, I mean, what's your take on monetizing other people's misery? It shouldn't happen. No. It shouldn't happen. Which is why I think the American um, healthcare system is so screwed up. Yes. Um, uh, now, what's your take... Because my only debate about um, monetization on misery yeah. is state funerals. Is pardon? Is state funerals. Yeah. Um, where is it? No, it's not there. Yeah, state funerals. How's that monetizing on other people's misery? Because it's broadcast. Oh, yes. What, 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 yeah, yeah, that's the only sticking point that I have in my own head about um, monetization on people's misery. That's, but that's the thing, they're not usually monetized. I mean, they usually sit on a state broadcasting network and then usually don't have ads. Mm. So they don't make any money out of it. Yeah. They're just there to show people the funeral for, for those who can't go. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so... Wow. I just... 
I mean, how would you have done the video? If you wanted to do a video on, say, the suicide forest, and uh, afterwards Logan Paul claimed that he did it to um, raise awareness about suicide, but if you were to do it, how would you do it? I would have gone to the forest. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I would have done exactly what he did. Yes. Until we saw, saw the dead body and cut the video. I would never have filmed in the forest at all. Yeah. What I'll do is actually I'll be outside the forest and at the entrance I'll be explaining to people what the suicide forest is and about the suicide rates in Japan. And so what I'll do is I'll turn off the camera and put placard and help put placards everywhere for suicide hotlines in the forest. Yeah. I wouldn't actually film in the forest at all. Just too many people need to rest in peace. Yeah. I have to think. Too many. There's too many people in there. Too many souls, and so much hurt. It's too. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. I mean, if you thought PewDiePie was bad, at least it was live and he didn't intend it to. Yeah, I, I, I even watched the PewDiePie um, edit of of the criticism of Logan Paul. Yeah. He actually, you know, said he actually pulled fun at, at himself about the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Of course he would. He, he, he made fun of himself all the time about that afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, I watch a lot of PewDiePie myself. Yeah. But in saying that, on a much lighter note, but also equally as sad. Yeah. No pretentious food corner this week. No food. No food this week. Hey, what's this? It, it, it is a... Should we do a pretentious food corner on... <laughs> on a shake? <laughs> yes, energy uh... drink. Yeah, why don't we do pretentious food corner on liquid food? Uh, uh, Please give a review of, of the various protein shakes you have. No. Why not? No. Well, well, no, well, if, if we're going to pick one, yes. it'll have to be that one. Because I am not letting you have that one. No, no, no. There is I'm no... not. We're not trying it out. You have to. You're giving a review. No. You are giving a review. I'm not trying any of them out. I know you. I know I'm going to go crazy over those. So you have no, no, no. This one you'd be fine. Yes. That one you won't be. Okay. Right. I'm reading this now. Thermogenic amplifier plus DNPX pineapple punch. Dietary supplement. What does it do? What does it do? What What is the ingredients in it, Sophie? <gasps> Not for use by individuals under the 18 age of 18 years old. Um, by the way, how old am I? <laughs> no, but you, but you, but you know your your caffeine sensitivities. I know, but Mike, how old am I, how old am I mentally? <laughs> About eight. <laughs> okay, I'm older than you then. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm four, by the way. <gasps> caffeine matrix. Uh, plant extract, octamine HCL, coca seed extract, oh, that so tastes like a bit like chocolate. Um, green coffee bean extract, alpha lipic acid. Oh, yeah. Da, yeah da, 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 da. Tea leaf extract, oh my god, this is nothing but caffeine. Yep, that's right. Why, Mike? Is this for your coffee nap? No. So, what does caffeine do again to you when you're exercising? It increases your heart rate. And that burns off the fat more. Yes. Okay. The other one, please. Actually, by the way, have like a taste of the powder. If you want to. Do you have any ways of sealing this packet? No. What happens if I open up the packet, though? Um, you can open up the packet and I'll just stick it in there. Okay. Center 6 egg. More protein, less, more protein, less carbs, less fat. Asterix. So, um, if you don't know what Synth 6 is, it is a protein powder. Yes. Um, it is a combination of a certain amount uh, of four different proteins. Yeah. Um, made by um, BSN. BSN. Yeah. Um, not suitable for children under 15 years of age or pregnant women. I mean, what's up with pregnant women? Like. No, because uh, it's. It's harmful to an unborn fetus. Like what? What's this? Like the mine? 
No, 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 because um, large amounts of pro uh, a, a large protein diet on a um on a pregnant person is very harmful. What does it do? I don't know exactly, but um, okay, best stretch it up then. Yeah. Hmm. That's all right. Does it taste cookie and creamsy? No. What's this? Stick it in there. Okay. You're going to have a very interesting shake after this. Yep. Chocolate and cookies and cream protein powder. Oh, yum. Okay. So, okay. So, with the protein powders. Yes. What's your favourite one? Um... Hmm. I uh, I would have to say on a consistent basis. That or some relevance of that. Cookies and cream. No, no, no. no I was being like since six in general. Oh yeah. Having a combination of proteins. And flavors. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, and saying that, uh, on a brand new topic, you can um, stick that in the rubbish. Um. Oh yeah. And would you actually? Oh, would you have um, soylent? Would you have soylent? Yeah, I, well, like I've said, I've tried. I'll try anything. Oh yeah. I'll try anything twice. Oh yes. You know, shame you once, shame on you, shame, shame you twice, shame on me. Yeah. Um. Oh, do you know about what's been going on with um, Intel Gate? Oh, I've heard that Intel has a chip problem, a, a vulnerability problem. Yes, and um, it is. It is. It goes back 10 years. Yes. And it is um, in relation to the kernel memory. What is that supposed to mean? Oh my goodness, a married couple. Oh, okay. It's it's just the other Michael. You know the other Michael. Yes. He just messaged me. Um, yeah. Um, it, 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 yeah, the kernel memory is um, what the components go through to yeah. get to the applications so like your um your cpu your mm -hmm. gpu your io your uh, cpu computer processing unit uh, central Pro central processing unit central processing unit graphics processing unit what's the io input output oh yes and what does the kernel memory do yeah yeah that's the kernel memory yeah is is a go-between between those devices Oh, yeah? And the applications that someone clicks on. So, let me explain this for the non-geeky guys <laughs> and gals. Yes. Please, please correct me if, you, if I'm wrong. Yes. The CPU and the GPU calculates what needs to be on screen, and the kernel memory um, translates that and puts it on the screen for you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That is the easiest way to say it. And it's, it's obviously oversimplified. But as we'll do for the moment, it's a relevant statement. Yes. Have you seen Have you seen my Twitter um, descriptions? No. There is no such thing as the truth. There are <laughs> There are only statements relevant to the situation. Now, Intel has been quite tight-lipped over this issue. I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised. Um, and it affects servers more than computers. In, computers. Um, and it's actually a problem that affects both Mac and Windows at the same time. And Linux. Yeah. Um, AMD is out of out of the realm. Yeah. So, um, like the Ryzen range and all the previous um, APU architecture is is not in this. But still, Intel is probably one of the biggest chip providers, right? Yeah. Well, they've had over eighty percent of market share for the last decade and a half. Yeah. I mean, all my computers, um, whether it was Apple or Windows, all had Intel chips. And um, your computer has an Intel chip, right? Yes. And so does your tablet, probably. Yeah. Yes, it does. Um, there, there has been some initial testing f um, from the yeah. update mm -hmm. that um, most of the, that Windows has been brought out. Yes. Um, and what and they said that it was going to be a five to thirty percent reduction in graphics. Yeah. That is only down to a specific read base. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. It, it's it, in, in a technical term, it's um, four K reads 
which means when you're downloading at four gigabytes yeah. every time, that's when the thirty percent reduction happens. But other than that, yeah, there is no change to your applications, no changes in gaming. There's actually a it's a margin of error increase. Oh yes. In um, FPS in most games. Oh yeah. Um, but other than that. So we won't really be affected. Hopefully. No. Um, the, the 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 five to thirty percent mm. decrease was valid, yeah. but it's only in one specific variable. I see. Only for four K. Yeah. So what if you what if you game in four K? No 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 no. We're not we're, we're, we're not talking about. 4K as in televisions. Oh, yes. We're talking about 4K as in 4 kilobyte transfers. Who would do that? Um, servers, mainly, right? Yeah. So, mainly affects servers. So, okay, here's another thing, though. Um, why was it leaked? Because this is very unusual. You usually don't leak your vulnerabilities because people will just exploit them. Now, now... This is, I mean... And, I mean, whoever leaked it at Intel was stupid. No. Maybe it was a computer. No. You just don't leak vulnerabilities until they're fixed. It's just common, safe practice. Now, um, I'm I'm trying to think of the of the example. Yes. Um. Oh, perfect example. Yeah. Uber. Yes. The Uber hacking. Yes. Um, it hasn't affected me, but it has affected like a few million Kiwis. Yeah. Um, Which is a lot, considering we only have 4.5 million people here. Yeah, well, they knew about that problem nine months beforehand. Yes. Th there's, a, there's a point in time yeah. where it is okay to be open about vulnerabilities. Yeah. Um, not, not to the point where this is the reason why this has happened. Yeah. And not telling the consumer. There, there is a point. Where that point is, yeah, I don't know. Do you think Uber has fixed the patch, fixed the vulnerability? Um, at the moment, I think so. They actually wanted to see who was exploiting it. Oh yes. In order to catch them in the act. Oh yeah. Um, for me, I would actually think that the best time, the the best industry practice to tell the consumer about the vulnerability is after you patched it, like in the patch notes. <laughs> okay. So. Um, uh, you're, so that means that you still maintain transparency while still protecting the customers from any exploits. Yes. And, vul and vulnerabilities. And um, just to make sure that everyone's on the same page, yes. even though we don't like it, Yeah. updates, please. Please, bloody update. This is important. This is about, this is about as bad as the heart bleed. Yeah, and, and speaking oh, hey, of... Hey, wasn't there this exploit um, exposed recently that was so bad that even Windows did an update for XP? Um, I don't know. Yeah, um, I'll just search it up. Um, uh, 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 well, click it first. Click okay, it. because there was an exploit recently that was so bad that Microsoft actually did an update. Uh, Windows XP update um, virus. Um, yeah, WannaCrypt. Okay. There was a... You didn't know about this? No. It was so, Did you know about WannaCrypt, at least? No. WannaCry. No, it was WannaCry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. WannaCry, yeah. Yeah. WannaCry was apparently so bad that Windows XP got an update this year. <laughs> now, now, speaking of updates... Yes? And, and, the, and this is crucial, because we're talking about your specific hardware here. Yeah. What do you think about Apple saying that, um, oops, um, we deliberately slowed down your phone after most iOS updates? What do you think about that? If it made the phone last longer, I can't really complain. I mean, it's like the complete opposite of a money-making scheme, what they've done. Yeah. Yeah. They, de they deliberately slowed it down to get make your Apple devices last longer. Yeah. So you wouldn't buy an Apple device. So. It's like, yeah. Maybe because of the, um, of the deal that they're having that you could change your battery for, 
a reduced price. I completely missed it. I actually got the I actually got the battery replaced before the announcements by day. By day. By a day, like on oh, the day they got the battery replaced, the announcement came through. <laughs> so I had to pay full price. But honestly, though, I had to get an update. I had to get my battery replaced anyway because that phone was basically could only hold like five minutes worth of charge. Yeah. And Dad was getting sick of it. <clears throat> So yeah. So yeah. Now it's a bit better. It's got like five hours worth of charge, but um, that's with like Bluetooth and a few other th few other background processes on, so I can't complain. Yay. Yay. So yeah, it's like I, it's like, yeah, I think they should have told us. But honestly, I'm I'm gonna say that Apple's like a villain here. Apple's like a villain. Not a villain. Not a villain. I'm gonna say they were the villain because I mean. The thing is with Apple is that their philosophy is um, we'll do everything for you. You, we'll do everything for you. Yeah. You you do the, you just do whatever basics you want, and we'll make most of the decisions for you, so you don't need to think about it. I mean, it's good for some people, especially if you're not computer savvy. Yeah. It's really good for older people because they have no idea how to you know configure. They wouldn't know how to configure most Android devices because they have to make so many different decisions. Yes. Uh, but if you're really into personalizations, then let me tell you, the Apple company will be a pain in the bloody ass. Yes. It's always been. And, and, and like my, my big advice is yes. stick with one platform. Stick with one platform, yeah, definitely. Yeah, no matter what, if you're going with Apple or Android, yeah, stick with it. Yep. Yeah. And if you're going to switch platforms, do your research. Yeah, very much so. And it's going to take a few months for you to, get, to adjust everything. Yeah. But... If you're going to choose, if you're going to get a new device soon, and you're choosing between Apple and um, Android versus or Windows, just think about how good you are actually are with your computers. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm sorry, um, Windows is pretty much dead now. Why is that? Uh, yeah, window. Yeah, the Windows platform is pretty much dead. Why is that? Because Nokia new Nokia range is Android. The new Nokia range is Android. I'm talking. I'm not talking about phones here. I'm talking about the computers. Oh, you're talking about OS. OS, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about OS. Um, I mean, Windows, MOS, mo mobile, the Windows mobile operating system is... Yeah. Um, and, in, and in saying of um, cutting the throat, so um, we'll end it there. Yeah, um, we'll just cut this, we'll just cut this, um, hey Mike, I, I can stay a bit longer, you know. Yeah, but, but it's, it's okay. I want to hang out with you a little bit more. Cool. Thank you, Mike. Uh, yeah, th th this has been the Asia Undecided podcast nice. with, your, with your cool hosts, Mike and Sophie. You can contact us on the Manus, T H E M A R N U S. I'm actually putting more. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I'm actually putting on more Twitter posts now, which is sort of strange. And um, keep in mind that so Mike is actually short for Michelangelo because he lives in the sewer. Oh, yes, yeah, I love My being a turtle. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you can contact Sophie on uh, Sophie9709, or you can contact the podcast on. As yet, undecided podcast at gmail.com or AYU podcast at AYU podcast. And, um, that's up this way, that's up this way. Mm -hmm. <laughs>